Hey YouTube, it's Ethers, Dark and Light Child here. Today I'm going to do a quick oracle reading for the collective, being that the energy is so chaotic right now and tense and a lot of people are starting to see the truth that has been hidden and it's not a good feeling for them and they're kind of looking for answers. So I'm going to do a quick oracle reading for you guys and get messages for your higher self. I want to thank you guys for the returning subscribers for checking out my channel. Thank you. For the new people coming to check my channel, I appreciate you. And I'll appreciate it if you would decide to subscribe to my channel. The music that I'm playing in the background, I don't have any copyrights to the music. What else? I smoke in my videos. So today, I will be smoking some... Um, gumbo some sour patch cake gumbo so i'm gonna cut the cards and so you know the cards that i'm using i'll show you the actual um cover for them see soul helper oracle it's messages from your from your higher self so let's go I already prepared the cards. I shuffled them and cleared them before I started the video. And you just see me shuffle them a little bit and cut them. So, Angel Spirits, guys, ancestors, can I get a card for the collective? Okay, that's one. Can I have another one? Angel Spirits, guys, ancestors, can I have another card? Uh -uh. Let's start with this one. Enter the temple of your trust and learn to value it. So what I'm getting from this card is number 19. Number 19 is 10. 10 goes down to 1. So 1 is truth, new beginnings. So it says enter the temple of your truth and learn to value it. So this is like saying basically tap into your higher self we all know intuitively what needs to be done what needs to be not done what we need to listen to what we shouldn't listen to even if we don't want to so that's what it is enter the temple of your truth the temple is your temple your body your higher self your knowledge tap into that and you will see the truth because right now Mercury is in retrograde, so there's hard times really communicating, but we just came out of Pisces, um, new moon, so the veil is pretty thin for you to see what you need to see. All things that have been hidden is now being revealed, so this card is quite fitting that it says, enter the temple of your truth. Can I have another card for the collective that goes with the enter the temple of your truth to help the collective with this energy that's going on? Angel, spirits, guides, ancestors. Is there another card that we can use to go with this? Enter the truth. Three cards popped out. That's two of the cards. I would prefer to take one other card. Thank you, gatekeepers. Recognize the spear as an opportunity. Within it, you will find the gift of awakening. You see the card has 21 on the top. 21 is 3 because 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 is mind, body, and soul. So it says recognize the spear as an opportunity. Sometimes when we come into situations and they reveal the truth to us that we don't want to see, it hurts us. Yes, and it leaves us sometimes in a position where we don't know which way to turn. When we look at something as an opportunity, especially if it's something that hurt us, it is nothing but an opportunity from the um, universe for us to grow because obstacles make you stronger. They're not here to make us weaker. And it says, within it, you will find the gift of an awakening. So if you just accept what's going on, I don't know what your despair as as a collective, but just recognize it, accept it as an opportunity, and that will bring an awakening to you. You will start to get more 
doors to open or more clues on which way you really need to turn with whatever situation you're going in. One more card. Can I have one last card for the collective? One last oracle card that goes with the theme here as basically tapping into your higher self and accepting the truth for what it is and moving on and it's and I must say this too when you go through something and like I said it's normally not good and it probably like pull the wool from under you or the rug from under you or pull the wool from over your eyes however you want to say it when doors are closing there are better doors opening we're in a season of Virgo season Virgo season is about healing it's about like I said, getting yourself together, lining things up. Everything starts to fall back into place. Autumn comes in. It's a new season. It's a new change. It's coming. Rebirths is coming. So accept the death or accept the ends for what it is. This card says, have the courage to be free. Know that freedom begins where desire ends. I'm going to read that again. Just imagine that. Have the courage to be free. Know that freedom begins where desire ends. Not all of our desires are meant to be lived out. And like, you know, I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, all our desires are not meant to be lived out forever and ever. It's for short periods of time sometimes. And if you have the courage to be free, be true to yourself. Be who you really want to be. Tap into your higher self and stop trying to please people. Please yourself. Do what you want to do for yourself. Because these cards are basically saying that. Enter the temple of your truth. And learn to value it. Value your truth. Forget someone else's truth. No one else's truth is your truth. Your truth works for you. And I'm not talking about being delusional or anything. I'm talking about accepting the truth for what it is. Like if you see this lighter. It's a pink lighter in front of you. Accept it that it's a pink lighter. You know? You have to start accepting the truth. The other card. Recognize the spear as opportunity. Within you will find the gift of an awakening. Have the courage to be free. The universe want you guys... To just really accept whatever you're going through. The veil has thinned. You have seen it for what it is. Accept it. And let it go. And on the other side of that hump, once you heal and get over it. I don't know how long you're going to have to heal. Other people, you know, people go through things. Some heal for weeks. Some takes years. Some takes months. But depending on, you know, what you need to heal... Get through it. It's okay to face yourself. Have the courage to be free. Know that freedom begins within and where desire ends. So once your desire ends, your truth begins. Desires are normally lies. It's things that keep us complacent and in fantasy land. You know, when we have the courage to be free, that's now challenging us. It's now having us really look at ourselves and see what we really like about ourselves, what we don't like about ourselves, what we like about the situation, what we don't like about the situation, and accept it. It's okay. It's really okay. At the top of this card, the number is 28, if you can see it. That's another one. So the numbers here is like one, three, one. So if you have been seeing this number, one, three, one, or one, one, three, or three, one, one, this could be a message for you. It very well could be a message for you. Let's see what's at the bottom of it. The love of your dragon reaches out to you. The realms of your truth is opening up. It's not a way to complete this message by but saying that. The love of your dis, of sorry, the love of your dragon reaches out to you. Which means your inner little child, if you want to call it, your in, inner true self, your higher true self, however you want to look at it, it's reaching out to you. Here go the card. Look at it. It's a very pretty card, too. So this is what I have for you as your oracle 
message. The universe wants you to step into yourself, accept the spear. At the end of the spear, this is going to be awakening. Accept and, uh, and, and, and take the courage to be free. You know, forget what anybody else say. Do what you want to do. Stop thinking and living for other people because other people really not living for you. And the time of day that we're living in right now, everybody is like for themselves. So, yes, please take this message. I know sometimes it could be hard facing ourselves, but it's okay to face ourselves. Because like I said, at the end of that, once you get over the hump, you're going to have more awakenings. You're going to sometimes be able to laugh at what you've been through and say, wow, this happened for a reason. And I'm thankful for it. Like me particularly. I've gone through many things in my life. And when I say many things, many things that people couldn't even get through. And I'm serious. But I look at it and I say, you know what? I thank the people for doing what they have done. I thank the universe for bringing me these lessons. Because actually I was stuck at, in certain points in my life where I didn't want to accept a lot of things that I should have accepted. It's life. We are human. And the challenge is getting to learn yourself. And once you learn yourself, you're unstoppable. Because I think right now it's like 90% of the population don't know itself. I know that's a high number. But a lot of people do not know themselves nowadays. And this is why you get caught up in, in situations where you're not happy or you get blindsided or you get cool hoodwinked or you get gaslit. You know, face your truth. I have a deck that I'm working on myself. It's, it's a basic empowerment card. So I'm going to take a couple of um, messages that come out of this card and see what this has to say for you and then we'll end this reading because it's pretty clear here i'm gonna take this for some advice for myself as well um gatekeepers can i have a couple cards here to go with these cards that these oracle cards that we already have here to help the collective with these messages can i have a card for enter the temple of your truth and learn to value it Wow. <laughs> the card says, what does your soul want? If this couldn't be more fitting. What does your soul want? What do you really want? Can I have a card for recognize the spirit as an opportunity? Within it, you will find a gift of an awakening. Can I have a card to help clarify this? What a collective. Gatekeepers, can I have a card for recognize the spear? Wow. I'm not going to take the one that fell. It says, Tower moment will shake up your world. If these are not being clarified, like as a backup, and this, these are the, a deck that I'm working on. So, a tower moment will shake up your world. I'm going to tell you this from my experience. It's best to make these changes and move with the, the, the energy instead of having the energy come and, like, move on you. Because I always say it's a, it's a people have a fine, no, I, I would like to say the universe have a fine way of waking us up with reality. And reality is a tower moment. A tower moment is something that happens unexpectedly. It blows your eyelashes off your face sometimes, how traumatizing it could be. It could ha have you gulping and swallowing your tongue. I mean, like, please listen to the Oracle reading. I, was, I wasn't even going to do this video. This, this was, like, really on my head. I kept delaying it and doing other things was like make this video so whoever sees this video i really hope that you take the messages that come out because it's for your highest self and you only going to be able to see promises at the other end it's like no other way i can say it can i have another card i mean can i have a card for have the courage to be free know that freedom begins where desire ends can i have another card can I have a card? See, this is what I'm saying. Mercury retrograde kind of screws with me. It, it messes with my my communication. My Mercury is in Pisces, actually. And it's a detriment to have Mercury in Pisces. I'm not going to go on 
with that. Let's focus on this. But yeah, this is why I'm like a little tongue twisted. This card says trust your gut. Trust your gut. Have the courage to be free. Trust your gut. Know that freedom begins where desire ends. Trust your gut. So at the end um, of this reading, at the bottom of the deck, it says full moon. Full moon. Let's see what's on the other side. Because on these cards, I have messages on both sides. So full moon, and then it has new moon. So I guess the next full moon, or the new moon, we just had a new moon in Pisces. So, and the veils are thin. What you need to see is being shown to you right now. Accept the truth for what it is. And really just grab it, accept it, and just move forward from there. Look, I, I want to say, show you something real quick. I know men probably watch this. Women are going to watch it. It's a collective reading. But just look at these women. This is the Oracle deck that I'm using. I think she's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Look at this card. This is the flip side of the Oracle card. Look at this lady. Whatever she's contemplating, whatever you guys are contemplating, looking back on. I don't know. It's your, it's, I didn't pull any like um, tarot cards to go with this to dig deep. That wasn't the point of this. I was just getting a download to make a video to help the collective out. Look at her. Doesn't she look strong? Have the courage to be free. She's just swinging all strong. She doesn't care what nobody thinks. She cares what she thinks. You know, and, and it says trust your gut. Was clarified with this card. And a towel moment will shake up your world. Clarified this card. Look how she's looking. And look at what the card is clarified by. Please don't let no tarot moment come down and shake your world up. Like I said, I'm going to take this reading for my advice as well. And what does your soul want? Look at these cards. These cards, like, they go very well with the Oracle card that came out. So I'm going to end this collective. I wanna, all right, look. You say with the card, what does your soul want? Like I said, my cards that I'm making, this deck, I have um, messages on the flip side. So on the flip side of the card that says, what does your soul want? Clear out the clutter. So on that note, I'm going to end the video. Um, like I always say, if you're going to keep it real t with anybody, keep it real with yourself. Until next time.